Welcome back, everyone. Week four of the CSC Challenger Series as we get underway here with a, another Division One matchup and should be a good one. J.C. Martinez taking on Danny Baggish. William Stewart, Sean Green, Nick Deshera in the background. I hope you're ready for a doozy. Sean, what do you have to say? First of all, I don't. you said Sean Green in like a – sad way uh after you, when you mentioned all three of us you were like will stewart sean green and nick to it's like why did i get the the sad one um buddy first of all i'm excited for this matchup it's going to be fantastic jc martinez coming in hot on fire in fuego however you want to say it uh he defeated sugar shane johnson on our stream nine to three the very next week upset the defending champion mike maloney nine to six and uh Danny was not expecting J.C. Martinez, but he's not going to look past J.C. Martinez based on his his previous play. Danny Baggish, of course, coming in as one of the favorites in the tournament. Uh, he's gotten to the point that he has, and he just seems to be getting better and better every week. He went from 9-6 to 9-3 to 9-0. He can't get better than that, but the momentum's with both these gentlemen. So who's going to hit the brick wall first? That's the ultimate question is who's going to hit that brick wall, and we're going to find out here. I tell you what. Should be a great affair. Looking by the tail of the tape here, some both these competitors have played some 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 great players, and really, I'm I'm just excited for this one. We're gonna go ahead and start off. It looks like with Danny Baggish. Let's go ahead and take it on to his tail of the tape here, as uh, he starts off with, of course, being known as the Gambler, and there's a good reason for that one. Let me tell you, location <laughs> club 401. He's been playing for 28 plus years. Started out as a just a Ute competitor. A Ute competitor. Yeah, there we go. I said it. Five six eight for the MPR. He's got a 71.8 win rate. Here's some uh, other mentionables: 28 nine marks, 58 seven marks, four white horses, and that's in 36 games played. A, uh, currently on a 14 game win streak. There you go. That's interesting. Yeah. So, so 14 legs in a row. I'm going to guess that he's one straight. Uh, he did beat Don Stewart 9 0. So that's why that makes sense. But yeah. Okay. Nine, nine to six over Ram the very first week on our stream, then nine to three over Brian and Dennis. And then, of course, the nine zero over Don Stewart. But uh, some mentionable, mentionable there the 5.68 and the 71.8 are both number one uh, in the in the division one for average and win percentage. So uh, something else that's very interesting at that point. Uh, and I'm actually interested to look at JC Martinez because stat wise, it looks like his, his, his overall stats are a lot better, but we'll get to that in one second. So JC Martinez, La Makina, uh, JC Martinez playing out of Tom Ryan's. He's been playing for 20 plus years. His NPR is a 5.37. That's fifth overall. And he has a 65 and a 0.2 percent win rate. He's thrown those super darts, La Makina, 18 gram darts. He has 49 marks with one white horse. He has 65 seven marks and 75 five marks, which again just seems like way more than Danny. But it's in 43 games played instead of 36, which I think is where that difference can come from. Uh, however, yeah, overall that's about where that difference. Tends to lie there. Uh, week one, nine to seven victory over Brandon Kessler. Week two, nine to three over Sugar Shane, and then nine to six last week over defending champion Mike Maloney, who is uh, now on the loser side, waiting on the winner of Leonard Gates and Ram Guevara <laughs> to see who uh, plays him next week. That's going to be crazy, and we're going to have that one for you next week, I believe. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to have some great matches coming your way here and throughout the rest of this tournament. We're getting down to those nitty gritty parts as we've already got some competitors out of this field. We've got some competitors still hanging on and trying to fight their way into the finals. We're going to find out who's going to get that king seat match uh, opportunity here between uh, these two individuals. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Danny Baggish or JC? We're already seeing a lot of numbers being thrown up here in the chat. Oh, yeah. Get Danny Baggish perspective here from Club 401. Here's what I got for you. How about this? I'm going to go ahead and put the nine mark counter at 32 and a half nine marks tonight. Hefty amount of nine marks for these two individuals. But then again, they got a hefty amount on their uh, nine mark counter already. Now, quick fact Danny messaged me randomly and he goes, uh, Here's what I got for you. 
He said, uh, nine, six, either way. If JC starts off like he did last week against Mike, he's going to win this nine, six. If not, I'm going to win it nine, six. I agree with that statement. I think we got a nine, six battle here. I got it going the way of Danny Baggish. We'll see how this ends up. What do you have, Sean? Man, that's a great, uh, question. Great point here. I'm going to tell you that watching La Makina warm up. I like the bullseye there in the last start. That's actually a great move after the two trip twenties. Um, cause it forces the triples now and Danny can't hit it. So Jason Martinez will get the start and you can see the brains already working for him. And that's, man, this is, it's tough to pick against Danny baggage. I'm gonna tell you that right now, but with the way JC has been playing the to get past, past Mike Maloney and then not have it matter at the end of the day, I think is going to bother him. So I have it going nine, seven. I'm just going to go against Danny too. Nine, seven, JC Martinez is going to be my, my pick tonight. There you go. Well, yeah, I love that move from JC right off the bat. He had the start here. Well, the cork start and you seen what he did. He, Took it right off the bat, hit two triple 20s, and immediately went down to the bullseye, knowing that adds a ton of pressure to Danny to hit right off the bat. And you saw he knew right after the first start, no opportunity. I'm done with this one and just kind of chucked the other two away. But here goes Danny Baggish off to the races already. And he takes that uh, seven mark and takes out the number, even though he's down just a single point. I'll say this. It's going to come down to who has more seven marks tonight. I think seven marks are going to be that deciding stat line factor uh, in victory. It's not going to be those nine marks. Those are going to come plenty for both players. It's it's going to be the seven marks uh, to match nines that, that end up being the difference. Unless you're Danny Baggish, and then uh, boom goes the dynamite right out the gate for Baggish. Throw seven, nine. And uh, is it too late to, to change my pick? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that yet. Well... You can see back there, we got, uh, I believe that's Joe and Joe back there for Club four, uh, Club 401. Yeah. Of course, uh, Joe, Joe of Club 401, that's uh, his uh, bar, per se, and always a big follower big of Danny. Bars. and sports He's him. He's starting to eat. He's really eating already. Love this from Danny as he gets two nine marks in the first leg. Okay. Uh, Michael Walters, my brother-in-law doesn't say great quotes all, or great statements all the time, but Danny is playing at a barber shop and JC is playing at a steak and shake. That's uh, <laughs> that's what he said there for those two. I love it. That's good. Those are good descriptions of both. That does look like a pretty, pretty sweet barber shop going on there. And Danny got his, got the fresh fade too for tonight. I don't know if you noticed that. He did. Folks, this, you're not joking. This leg's almost already over and, yeah. and we're going to keep this pace throughout the night. JC and Danny don't mess around at the board. No, they don't. And you're seeing it right off the bat. I want to mention some mentionables here, and we'll wait till after Danny wins this leg with a hefty six plus. 7.15. 7. Well, 7.15 out the gate. That can lose a leg, but not, not typically. As you see, Joe calls, calms down Joe in the background. My goodness. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be seeing that. You're going to be seeing that a lot tonight, I think. <laughs> How about JC's perspective, though? I think there's a couple people on the uh, tabletop just out yeah. of you, and looks like somebody's playing well with a CSC Challenger Series jersey on on the other end. you got to like to see but, that. A uh, little space, little space given there. All right, some mentionables here. Danny Baggish, <laughs> Ram Guevara was his first-round matchup, 9-6 win there, 5.68 average. Brian Dennis, second round, 9-3, 5-6. 0.78 average Don Stewart nine nil is what that yeah. uh, win was. And it was a 5.52 average there for uh, Danny for JC it was four, nine, six, five, seven, five, five, six, three for his averages. As you already mentioned, just kind of tail the tape before. So yeah, some good averages there to get to their overall averages of five, three, seven for JC and five, six, eight for Danny. Yeah, which tells me they're about even uh, when yeah. it comes to the last two weeks, uh, which that first week, JC throwing that 495 is where his average is a 527 overall. But yeah, I mean, right now they're throwing pretty legit even as we get a boom goes the dynamite there for JC Martinez, um, who's coming out firing here in this leg. 
Yeah, it's first of the evening. But that's why I say this could go either way. And the fact that I don't like the 9-6 because of how close their averages are, that's why I'm at least saying 9-7. And, man, I'm hoping with just how good this is going to be and how good you can imagine it's going to be, I'm just hoping for a last leg decider. Uh, please don't tell me that my brother-in-law's a decent shot in the chat. We, he doesn't <laughs> need to know that. He's okay. I'll put this from Danny. He took away the big pie, has a 16, so forces JC to hit. But even just three singles is is going to feel okay from him. But you can already see he's attacking those 15s early, and that's probably a smart move. But he says, dang it. Yeah, that was a big, okay. that's a big round there. And now advantage Danny Baggish. Yeah, opportunity has arisen for him. And he can take this early 2-0 advantage here. You shouldn't be shocked by that move from Danny. He's, he's trying to get rid of that high ground, um, which is what he talks about all the time, and it's going to pretty much pay off right here. He's going to go 15s and try and point the 15, I believe. I, I, was, I was wanting to see how really how JC reacted. He reacted right. He needed to take that yep. 15 opportunity there rather than the 16 shot. And that's exactly what he did, so. Well, JC gets the point lead back. Shouldn't be too difficult for Danny. This is the big opportunity to go up 2 nothing, both against the throw. This is going to be a... I thought that was going to be right on top of it into the 16s and over the 15s, but instead it's a good six mark. Yeah, right now his floor is a six point one seven. That's <laughs> that's uh that's not tough. Too, not too shabby. Let's remind everybody the winner of this one will play the winner of Jules Van Dong and, and Porky Steve Hilger. Uh, as they are at the bottom of the bracket. They're gonna be playing in about two weeks, correct? I, yes. April first. Yep. So should be a good one there. And the Steve's ready for the opportunity. Five seven one there in leg number two from Danny Baggish. Only a four four three for JC. You can see though, Danny, a showman. Even though it may be just for some club members and some locals, he's a showman. And he's put on a good one here. Marla Turrentine says hello to us in the chat here. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Say hello to Absolutely. Jim for us as well. Hey, reminder, from guys. Will, from Will, not Sean. From Will. Well, from Sean, hey, everybody in the chat who's already put in a comment and hit that like button, you're automatically entered for a live stream giveaway tonight brought to you by A to Z darts .com. A to Z darts is uh, sponsoring tonight's live stream giveaway where they are giving away their choice or your choice of the shot Toa darts. That's a best of luck to all of our live stream viewers. Again, leave a comment in our chat. Hit that like button on our Facebook page. Tell us who you have in this one. Tell us what the final score line is, where you're tuning in from, how these guys are just going to keep firing in like this back to back nines for both players. But JC start off with just the two mark on the twenties, which might end up hurting him at the end of the day. And Hey, I might as well just keep going here for a second. March is here. And so is the new dart of the month. Just waiting on Danny. Okay. Oh. Enjoy a $15 discount on all target Hema darts this March. All customers that buy a set of Hema darts will automatically be entered in tonight's into the special raffle to win a set of target bull aid void darts. That raffle ends April 1st. And the winner gets their choice of soft tip 18 grams or steel tip 22 grams. Best of luck to all of our viewers. And show your appreciation this Women's History Month by shopping A to Z Darts collection of women in darts. There's also two new launches to browse for all new dart designs, including the Stow Bunts version 2 darts, the Shot AI launch, and the world and the Dart World launch. Or you can check out Dimitri Vandenberg's merch and A to Z Darts sponsored player Ed Chambers' new Ocelot darts by 180. Just Ooh. click the banners on their homepage. Take a Danny breath. Baggage Take a Throwing a seven three three. Take a breath there, Sean. Whoo. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. <clears throat> Here's the thing is though, JC's already he's playing well. He's threw a five oh that first leg, four four three that second leg, but he's still he's throwing a five seven five here. It's just Danny's throwing that high note right now and he's riding it out. Look at him continue to continue to go here. Yeah, JC's almost throwing too well to be whooped in this leg. 
And that's exactly what's kind of happening. Already almost 1,400 viewers joining us this evening. So that's good stuff. We hope you're enjoying the entertainment. Give this a share if you uh, feel so inclined. Let your friends know this is a and right battle going on here on USA Darts and Partners Promoting Darts. And right now, Danny is putting on a show. Look at him. Look at him roar. Man, that's the 6 9 mark. Boom goes the dynamite. Danny Baggish is, uh, well, he is doing some crazy things on this dartboard right now. 7.4. He said it's all about the start, and he's proving it right here. He's on one. He looks to take the three nil advantage here. Throwing a double double. Geez, seven to four. Well, that's two legs out of three over a seven for Danny Baggish right out the gate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say the final score line tonight <laughs> is going to be Danny Baggish nine, JC Martinez four. So I saw someone in chat here say. 16 now 17 legs in a row that has to be a record actually no if uh those that have been around the show for a while season two when uh kane doyle was coming off his win he started off 909092 i believe the record is 20 straight legs one in the csc there you go i'll be good with three in a row Three nothing, Danny Baggish over JC Martinez early in this one. This could be the leg for JC, but Danny spotting an opportunity here as he'll go 18s and look to close the door early. He hits a first one. For, oh, we go 17 to Seb, but he'll still look. I like the play there. <laughs> I mean, why can't you like it when he hits a six mark on the 17s? It is a race to nine, ladies and gentlemen. Best of 17 legs. Double elimination style tournament. The loser of this one just goes to the loser side of the racket where, um, well, there's a whole bunch of terribleness over there. Terribly yeah, good chaos players. Chaos um, awaits over there. Yeah, about, you don't you don't want to ever be over there. How about this? Todd Wegman, Mike Scarborough taking on this evening. Winner will play Don Stewart. Leonard Gates, Ram Gravera. Yeah. The winner of that one plays, well, Mike Maloney, Brian Dennis, Tim Adams. Winner of that one plays Derek Hinkle. And then down at the bottom uh, half of the loser side, Luke Pritzel takes on John Edwards. Winner of that one has Kevin Schmitz. So, yeah, nothing but excitement along the way. I don't, Danny's got JC frazzled because JC tried to close the 17s without the point lead there. And it's going to cost him. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Danny's Danny's this kind of player where he he has an yep. intimidation factor put upon him where all of a sudden you could be stroking it like JC has and he all of a, he all of, all of a sudden just puts on a good show for a few legs and boom you get where this you're you're at three nil right now and you're just hoping to get a leg on the board and get get another one and make this three two and hopefully. You can hope in one hand and uh yeah right now it's not looking too promising this will guarantee danny a uh at least the league going into the break and all of these legs have been against the throw too which is the actual like crazy part right now mm -hmm. and mike maloney is thinking why why did i not get this start from jc martinez why did I get seven pluses? <laughs> because that's goodness. how Mike Maloney is going to be thinking right now. Sorry, Mike. We can see him making the smart play, going down for points, mm -hmm. knowing that a bull really doesn't give him much there. We got the Utahns in the chat. I've seen some of the Dakotans. Charming Chewy out there in the East Coast. If you want to talk about a wicked accent. Danny Bag is a 5.70, his lowest leg so far of this match. He has a 5.71, a 5.70, uh, and two seven pluses. Wow. And I'm not even writing that down. That's that is how memorable that is for me. 
definitely yeah, gross performance and miss so it. far. They played four legs of darts in about 10 minutes time. And it's only 820 right now, folks. You're not you're not uh, dreaming. This is actually going on right now. And JC is trying to switch up his uh, strategy as he's going out throughout here. And unfortunately, I, I just hate to say this. The strategy is just hit triples. Um, <laughs> got, as long as he keeps doing something. that, it doesn't matter how he does it. But only a two mark open for 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 baggish. Yeah, so possibly uh, put Baggish in a little spot here early as JC looks to take advantage. He's going to close the 18s as well. He's got four house advantage mm -hmm. here in this fifth leg. Looking to put one on the board. This is looking very much, well, st still with the points. It's not necessarily out of it yet. Wow. 1,500 plus here. We appreciate you joining us here, folks, for J.C. Martinez and Danny Baggish. Look at this, J.C. Thermonuclear. Wow. Throws in a coffin shot early. There was only a matter of time before he jumped on the high horse and started running, and 6.67 so far compared to Danny has kind of sizzled 3.5, and at least yep. he jumps up to a mid four, but this one should be over with one bull and then some points from JC. What's up, Callan? Uh, wow, that'll work. 6.82 from JC Martinez. And the and he gets the start in this next leg. Already the PPD player advantage rule in effect. Down three down uh, three or more legs. Automatically get the start in the next one. I think I like the uh, the thermonuclear way of playing. Try to end, end legs very quickly. Well, he goes back to the 20s here and stays on him. Five mark there. Just a screams nine mark. It does, doesn't it? And he's going to do it. Oh, oh, fire with away. That was almost as bad as Wyndham Clark's lip out yesterday. Oh, that was nasty. I I went back and saw that. Oh, downright brutal lip out there. I reacted live on our stream in the moment. That, I didn't think it was back that nasty. Oh, that, that was nasty, gross. though. That was, that was whew. tough, tough look there. All right, JC, do you fancy going at these 17s, getting rid of them? He does. Look at him go. Back, Back up, up for great. points. Well done there, JC. Oh, that's the Red Skull jersey that you have on. Now I recognize it. Well, yeah. a little horse of a different color there. That one's a white horse from Danny Baggish. His fifth one of the season. Of the season? Uh -oh. Of the match? No, not white horse. Oh, oh, my yeah. bad. That's all right. I made the distinction there. That's not your. Not I your thought fault. he already had one in the leg, though. I don't think so. Or in the match, I think he had one in the match already. That may that may be. He had three triples. He had three triples, but it wasn't a white horse. I don't know. I beg to differ there, Sean. But that's all right. We'll move on. Look at this. JC oh, opportunity. Yes, there is an opportunity here. Still on. And he loves Not opportunities. JC two bowls will make it four to two, but Dan Danny Baggish will get the start here in our last leg before our break. And uh, if you decided to join us 25 minutes late, well, Oh, oh no. Oh, whoa. Look at and Danny. He's going, he, is I just saw Danny in the background going, come on, come on. He brutal. knows an opportunity here is, is here is here. <gasps> How'd that give him a seven? He got it. That's brutal. That one's brutal. Yeah, yeah that's like rough. Seven. 
JC kind of hinted it to him there. Only needed two bowls with three darts. You expect him to hit that nine times out of ten, maybe more than that? You you really do. It's unfortunate, but it happens to the best of us, and we got to fight back here, JC, and look at him go. Big white horse to open us off. Yeah, he brushes his in, shoulders off, I think. In our seventh leg. His third of the evening. Yep, Danny's just going to stay right there. There you go. Nine followed <laughs> by a nine. That's how you uh, erase, erase a white horse. That's the only answer you can give there. That really does significant value. And JC, you, you, well, that's that's huh? one way to answer. Now, does Baggish go for the closes yep. here, or does he go for points? I think he. I think he takes a look at the twenties. I I think he goes at least six, a look at the sixteens here. Possibly, we'll see. I'll go all 19s. day then. Oh, now he's got a pail. Yeah, yeah. And that that's a good good way to go about it. Hey, take the look, see what happens. He did miss that second, so he got the opportunity to go over. And that's yeah, and not good enough. No, it will not be. And this could be Danny's way of getting out in front and making this a 6-1 match, potentially. Back to 16s. No, he nope. took a shot. <laughs> wow. I will be your hero, baby. Once again, that higher ground. I should have known better. Wow. Yeah, and this is uh this is looking more and more likely to potentially be a six to one advantage for Danny Baggish going to the break. Well, let's just throw in another nine for good measure. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, he is uh he's feeling it back there. As he should. Throwing a seven point five zero in this leg. He said two is... nines in the leg, and he's had two other identical legs like that, where he's had two in the first, the third, and this seventh leg. Well, he blew the average, but not the leg. Yeah, I don't know too many people that would have picked the score line, honestly. Even Danny thought it was going to be 4 3 5 2 was kind of the max of what he said. But you're going to hear that in just a minute. So uh, we're going to head to our break, Will. Reminder, guys, make sure you leave a comment in our chat. Hit that like button on our Facebook page. To get entered in tonight's live stream giveaway brought to you by A2ZDarts.com for the, your choice of the shot Toa darts. Will? You blinked yeah. and you would have missed that first half of the match. Uh, 829, 829 folks. And we've already got seven legs under our belt. Don't go anywhere. We got some great interviews with our players brought to you by Nick to share 10, nine marks on the counter already. Hang tight. We got the remainder of this match coming your way here next. Will Stewart, Sean green, Nick to We'll be right back. Well, hello, everybody. I am Nick the Sheriff, joined by the one, the only, the Danny Baggish here. He's kind enough to let me into his own home for this interview. Uh, Danny, first off, welcome back to the CSE. Uh, yeah. Um, well, not welcome back. This is my first time playing. You just second time about, on the show. Second time on the show. Uh, second time on the show. Nice <laughs> one next to Yeah, no, it's been great. Uh, I love everything they're doing, and uh, I'm excited. JC Martinez put on a stunner of a performance against Sugar Shane Johnson on the live feed. Six-plus average. Then goes on to beat the current two-time champion, Mike Maloney. What's going to be your game plan for this? Uh, I, I get along with, with JC. Love him. I love the guy. Great He's guy. a great player. Great guy, great player. I'm upset. 
I'm upset. Uh, everyone knows that I wanted Mike Maloney from the start. <laughs> he took it away <laughs> from me. Every single <laughs> tournament I show up to, I want to play Mike. Um, so no, but uh, obviously JC played well, um, so it's it's going to be tough. Nothing's going to be easy. And if he plays that well, I'm going to have my hands full. And uh, I, I'm hoping to come out on top, but it's, it's going to be a scrapper. Certainly, certainly. And a lot of people that are following your dark career overseas, right? They saw you in the PDC doing work on the circuit. And you kind of talked about doing a retirement tour, getting into exhibitions. And now you're back out playing a lot more. Can you talk us through a little bit of that mentality of like what really is driving you to play darts right now? Yeah, I, I, I actually quit the CDC because I felt like I couldn't compete anymore. Uh, I, I don't really tell anyone that, but uh, the last six events, I, I just stopped playing because I didn't feel like I was going to even be in the top three, four, or five, really. So I uh, just kind of took a step back, got a regular job, um, you know, family time and all that good stuff. Everything is just kind of lining up for another run. So I uh, started playing more steel tip at home. Uh, my soft tip game never really took a dive. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of put my feet wet again and back in the, in the dark scene and playing well. Well, this interview plays seven legs into the match. So that's when you guys will be seeing this. What's the score right now? 5-2 me. All right. You heard it here. Anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, anybody else watching along? Yeah, JC, I was just joking if it's 5-2 me. And listen, <laughs> um, really, I'm, just, I'm hoping it's 4-3 at least me. Um, but it's, uh, no, just, uh, just all the support, man. I appreciate everyone. I appreciate TOC putting this on. All my sponsors, you know who you are. Um, yeah, just, I, just, I just love the game, and I hope everyone enjoys the match, and, and I hope I come out on top. Well, you guys heard it here. Danny Baggish, the gambler, gracing our live stream once again. Top four matchup to see who gets into the King's Seat match. A lot on the line here, and Danny, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. I appreciate it. Thanks. Good luck, JC. It's Women's Perfect. History Month. A to Z Darts is celebrating by encouraging you to show your love for the ladies in our industry. We've dedicated a page on our website called Women in Darts, where you can browse all of our female signature darts and flights. If you don't see your favorite player, simply check with your local supplier. And don't forget to thank your female bar owners, league organizers, or the women that are employed with the manufacturers in darts. If you love our company, we're always proud to share that we have a strong female leadership and perspective here. We're led by a female CEO and general manager, we have women leading our online sales, wholesale, and warehouse departments. I myself act as the creative director for all of our brands, A to Z Darts, Magicware, and USA Darts Production, where we live stream some of the best female talent in the world. There are so many women in darts that make our world go round, and we hope you take the time all year long to show them your appreciation. Thanks for watching. Okay, my name is Juan Carlos Martinez, known as La Máquina JC. I playing I playing out of uh, Tom Ryan's, and my vending company is Troy Leagues with uh, Chris Gilmore. Like I oh. told you before, best vending company in the United States. You heard the man, and welcome back, JC Martinez, to the CSE Challenger Series. We are excited to have you back on our show for the second time this season. And let's be honest, we're gonna get right into it. Last time we saw you, you dominated Sugar Shane Johnson nine to three. I mean, you were hitting everything. You were in some of the best form I've seen out of any dart player in a while. I mean, it was a great performance. What was running through your head during that match? Well, I was so happy because I had the support of many fans at the bar. I had my wife, I had my, my daughter, which is my inspiration on playing darts. I always like uh, to keep family, with darts all together you know have a complete balance on it but uh i felt so secure because they were behind backing me up you're in headlines non-stop in the csc right now right you saw we you played sugar shane put on a stunner of a performance right and then you go on and you continue to do great stuff including and the fans would be remiss if i didn't mention this you went on and played Mike Maloney and came out on top. Uh, what was going on in that match? Talk us through it, because you were the one to send the defending champion to the loser's bracket for the first time in two seasons. Well, you see, to tell you the truth, I was coming out. I, I just landed in, well, I landed like about nine in the morning that day, and I came here and took a nap, and then I was ready to go. And to tell you the truth, when I was practicing, I was feeling uh, that I didn't have it. But I said, you know what, don't worry about it. You'll do good. You'll be shooting excellent. So ah. I proved it, right? And uh, I know Maloney was tired too, but uh, I mean, that's an excuse that we both 
can have. But uh, I always like competing against Maloney. He's always got the best of me. But uh, now I'm beginning to prove that I'm belong and I'm one of the best from United States. And then anything you want to say to your friends, fans, family, or anybody else watching along? Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you always for supporting me. And I thanks all my peeps from Tom Ryan's, all my peeps from Arizona, uh, from all over the country. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I I always appreciate. And uh, I hope I could come out on top in this one. And and I would like to thank uh, Mike Bates from Bull Shooters. He's always been with me. Uh, Troy Vending, Tom Ryan's, and all my friends. I love you so much, and uh, I can't wait to play tonight. Well, our top four is kicking off tonight for the winner's side of the bracket in the CSC Challenger Series. JC Martinez, Danny Baggish, this is bound to be an all-time great match. We're excited to see it, and JC, we wish you nothing but the best of luck in your match. Thank you very much. I'm JC Martinez, La Máquina JC, and you guys are watching CSC. Here we go. Once again, it's time for the rest of this match. And let me tell you, folks, interesting stuff playing out here. JC not throwing bad. It's just that Danny's throwing so well that the gap has kind of increased more than JC would like. Here's what I got for you. 5-7-7 seven, seven for Danny Baggish, so a little bit over his current average. And then for JC right now, four nine eight, so hovering right over, right underneath that five range, but uh, still playing well. That average just seems like it's not well because, well, look, it's the CSC. <laughs> How often are we used to the five eights and the five sevens and the five sixes now? That that five just doesn't seem like enough. Well, kind of like that seven from JC didn't seem like enough, and it didn't because the nine mark right out the gate and again from Danny Baggish. My goodness, man. It, and that's what's happening, right? It's six to one, but that is the – if that's not in a nutshell what's happened so far, I don't know how else to put it. You know, it's seven mark, nine mark, seven mark, nine mark, and I said that seven marks were going to win this thing, but nope. Danny is proving that entirely wrong as he doesn't stop hitting – Nine marks. Oh, and then you jinxed Until right him. there. Well, you know, he jinxed himself. He thought it was going in. That's for sure. Well, well listen. If you ask Danny, he thinks everything's going in until he misses. Well, that's how he plays the game and how he should play the game. And it's working for him, I guess. <laughs> He's not finding himself disappointed very often. He'll close these 18s here as well. You can see him take that shot with a second dart. No matter what, I knew he was going to take the look, and he's hollering for a seven mark because it's a meaningful seven mark. Forces JC to the 17s, and he's not going to be able to take a look at the 19s. So Danny with the really big upper hand here is he'll have three clear looks at the triple 17 bed. Yeah, Danny's not doing much wrong here, man. And it's, and that's why he's going 19s first because he has the higher ground on it. Wow, I was so, surprised yeah. that he stayed there with the last dart, but I mean, he's just putting JC out of his misery early here and saying whatever yeah. you do here is going to be not enough. It's making JC have to swim upstream against the current, yeah. right? And it has to feel like for him, he's been doing that the entire time. He's throwing a 5.8 and just nowhere close. Yeah, you know it's tough when you hit a seven mark and know you're. You're, you don't have enough darts in your hand to really make it valuable. And once again, Danny stays there. But it's only three, but you can still see he's almost 100 points ahead still. So JC's still got to hit six here to well, even there you go. an opportunity. There you go. Oh, that would have been yep. a big dart. And he had to take that shot. 100%. Liam Musser in there goes, Danny's human. <laughs> It seems like every once in a while he, he becomes human. 
And then he just, you know, gets back into his ways. The same could have been said about JC, though. He's put up some phenomenal performances of late and just taken a Gross. phenomenal performance from Danny to, to best him. You saw that, folks. Number 12 for the evening, our eighth leg here. Another seven from JC, and it just isn't good enough yet uh, at this time. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even say that without having to throw up. Yep, bye. Is he going to go 19s or 15s? 19s, yeah, 19s, 15s. then 15s, yep. He just likes to walk was, the dog over that way. I was thinking for sure another nine here, but not this go round. Danny's playing the game of hit the triples. He's playing Jose D'Souza's game of cricket where uh, – why are you so good at cricket, Jose? I uh, just keep it triples and uh, win game. <laughs> all right. That's it. All right, Jose. Well, that's it. That's all you have to do. Look at Jay. I mean, a 6 0 right now. And look where he's at. He's, he's, he's so, he's 120 <laughs> points down at least. Yeah. It's just. Yeah, it's not. Danny, one, two, three to take the win here. Throwing a six plus. I this is. I love that Nick said you blew it in the background, acting like he's not going to come back here and have darts. Yeah, he's he had to hit <laughs> six and fine. then hope. He had to hit six he's and then fine. hope. He needed hey, seven. Hey, wait. Let me cover my eyes. Your Danny bag issue. He hit it. <laughs> Shocker. 6.0 from Baggish. And again, just puts pressure on the whole time. What Seven to one score line. What was that there from JC? I'm not sure. I did not see the score. I was about to say, I'll pull it up if, if I need to. Appreciate it, uh, Nick. Thank you. Well, boom goes the dynamite there for JC Martinez. It's almost like that's how you have to start out now. I mean, you really do. JC's had four compared to Danny's nine. Nine marks he's here. Gonna, he's going to do this again. It's gross, man. It's just gross. He almost looked away. How? I know what Danny said there. He said it's too easy. That's exactly yeah. what Danny said there. It's too easy. Right now it is for him. That look alone. But JC. Me. Oh, JC a seven. I do want 5.3 there from JC, that last leg. Danny missed a triple, so. <laughs> we do need to give a shout out, I was going to say, to uh, JC for that uh, compliment on the uh, interview. Love that. Appreciate it, JC, as he hits a big nine. Or an 8.33 in this leg. He's like, uh, I can't lose with that, right? And I wouldn't be surprised, JC, <laughs> at this point of anything. Oh, Danny tried to take out one of the big numbers. Well, that's an interesting play, especially with where he's at, because even that move from Danny wouldn't have been sufficient, as uh, JC could have went down to the 19. So, and again, I'm nowhere near the player that <laughs> Danny is. So, I think he was just saying, uh, on to the next one. Seven seven five playing a seven three three right now. Remember, remember that statement you made at the Booyah Cup that I've never in my life seen a seven. Nope. Yeah, and then we saw it three get times beat. Total. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to see one here. No, we're not. Six seven five, not counting. Oh. Six eight. seven five can get beat. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I guess. Oh no. Oh no! Let me let me do this to us guys. We have to settle with a six plus. Get out of here, Danny. That's not cool. He's just gonna stay on all bulls, right? Well, he's he's kind of coming up with what he wants to do there. If you didn't see, so you can't close all. He knows of it, a double. So. You really much gotta stay there. I mean, 
if you go and he may close one, but I don't think it's anything valuable. It won't do anything. Yeah, that might be too little from him. <laughs> Keith Williams in there. They need to change his nickname to Zeus because he's throwing nothing but lightning bolts. I well, like look it. at this. JC's giving him another chance at this. Yeah, that could last. Good last, but you don't want to give Danny too many of these opportunities. No, because sooner or later he's going to pounce, but I think JC's done just enough here to escape this leg and make this 7 2. So just the one bull. Yep. 6.0 beats a 5 1 7, but they were throwing uh, absolute heat early on in that leg. JC's going to get the start pretty much for a while now. No matter if he wins or loses legs. Of course, if he loses legs, only be two more. <laughs> yeah, touche. And uh, it's only 846. What? It's crazy. He just screamed through this one. This is leg number 10, ladies and gentlemen. How many five-minute legs have we had is a, is a good question. Let's see. We had about a five-minute intro. Four minute legs? Yeah. About a 10-minute break there, so 15. They've been playing for about 36 minutes, maybe half an hour. Ten legs. You see, JC doesn't, you know, right when that board ticks over, he's ready to go. Same with Danny. Danny's talking to himself in the background. He's got to be singing. He's enjoying some music is what he's got going on. He's got his ear pod in, I believe, yeah. He's thinking, hot, sicker than your average. That's what he's thinking, I guarantee you. Because that's what's going on in his uh, playlist right now. Man, he might as well be saying, I love it when you call me Big Papa. <laughs> Seth Shade in the chat. Talk about season one, Seth Shade, Bicknell, Indiana. I believe they now have two traffic lights. I think that's the update now. Two? Hey! The improvement it is doubled 1600 it looks like Danny just under bag-ish. nuts boom goes the baggish yeah, we appreciate you folks joining us once again if you have not liked and commented do so we've got a uh shot Deo, uh darts going on this evening a little giveaway for those. So like, comment, share this bad boy if you have not. We would appreciate that one as we help uh, make our way around the world. Hopefully we can do that. We're start, starting to see more of that UK audience, some Australia, some New Zealand, Poland. Oh, yeah. Some some good ones in the chat, which is always great. So help us, uh, help us do that if you can. Danny, looking for the win. Another seven? Or is it going to be six? It's probably going to be six here. Six eight six. Eight, six. eight to two score line. He's one leg away. So man, don't forget the new dart of the month is here. Enjoy a fifteen dollar disc discount on all target Hema darts this month. This March. Uh, all customers that buy a set of Hema darts will automatically be entered into a special raffle to win a set of Target Bolade Void darts. The raffle ends April 1st, and the winner will get their choice of soft tip 18 grams or steel tip 22 grams. Best of luck. Then also show your appreciation for Women's History Month by shopping A to Z Darts collection of women in darts. There's also two new launches to browse for the all-new dart designs, including the Stow Bunts version 2 darts, which are gorgeous, by the way, the Shot AI launch, and the Dart World launch. Or you can check out Dimitri Vandenberg's merch and A-Z Darts sponsor player at Chambers' new Ocelot 2 darts by 180. Just click the banners on their website. a to zdartscom has been a great sponsor of ours for quite a while as JC Martinez throws in another nine. They're at 17, buddy, and they've been playing... 10 plus legs of darts only. <laughs> Leonard Gates in the chat. This is so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Does I want a little bit more? Come on, guys. Hey, speaking of Leonard, good luck, sir. Good luck in the uh, seniors event coming up. Absolutely. Ricky Dominic is his first matchup. So want to wish you some well. Take him out. Win another one. 
He's been throwing hot, hot, hot. So I, uh, I have a feeling he's going to be just fine. You say, ole, ole. Oh, oh, sorry. JC, another nine right there. His second of the leg. Danny having a bit of an off leg here, throwing only a 6.0. Sorry, 6.33. Only, only a 6.33. He's got a 5.83 or 8.4 for the match right now. Yeah. <clears throat> I know that sounds sarcastic, but <laughs> I mean, you never know. And you're just going to close down everything with a couple of Maloney doubles just to give a little homage. <laughs> says, all right, double, double. Why not? Is that Kevin Luke back there? I think no. that's Kevin Luke in the background. Is it? It is. That is 100% Kevin Luke. He was in the Ozarks this past weekend and then make the trek on down. Watch it not be. It definitely looks like it. It could not be, but uh, who knows? Perfectly timed as we just block him off with the any. That looks it's like the Kevin. shoes. The shoes give it away. Yeah. He's, he's not Kevin. wearing the jelly belly outfit, the jelly bean <laughs> outfit tonight. JC wins a leg eight to three. The score line now. It's not over yet, and JC will go first for quite a while. The PBD player at Van Drool that everyone loves, and I do mean everyone. So here we go. La Maquina. Trying to turn back into the machine because he's going to need to be to finish this match out. Baggish one leg away. Yeah, he's got to throw fire the rest of the way because this is looking good for Danny. Takes for out Danny. The and chances are, I mean, he's going to take the gamble here. If you're saying he just needs one leg and give him this many chances, yeah, he's going to take his chances. Guarantee you. Danny's going to stay on 19s the whole way here. If he plays his normal like strategy, he's going to stay 19s the whole time. Yep. Now he could take Ooh. a shot after the first two, but he might still be kicking himself. He didn't stay there. Taking the percentage shot and look at this. It may pay off for him as he's going to get the it. opportunity here. Yeah. JC just can't do that. Like that's a 3.0 in, in a leg here against Danny baggage tonight it is a killer. Uh, Sean, there has up. been um, where the person wins the diddle and then doesn't win anything else. That has happened before. Um, it oh. has not. It will not happen tonight, though. Oh, hello. Big eight. Hello, JC. Is he says uh, so much for that advantage, Danny. When you mess around with it, I'm going to take my chances and steal it away. But does he steal it away? <laughs> What Go. a play from the gambler. Goes cross court on that pass into the 15s. And uh oh. And Danny should take advantage here. There's no doubt in my mind. This might he be over with in about 45 seconds. Yep. Now I can single it from here on out and honestly be okay. Single it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> With Danny, he rarely says a uh, single would do. 6.60. Looking at the 9-3 win here for Danny Baggish, and it's not even 9 p.m. Central Time. Yep. Three bowls needed for Danny Baggish to take out this match. JC Martinez will need five if Danny doesn't hit th three. And there wow. you go. A 6.0 dismantles JC Martinez nine to three. And, uh, well, it stops that momentum train, huh? 
My well, goodness. Let me tell you, there's a lot more folks there than I thought there was as they all yes. come out like cockroaches there. Look at that. <laughs> 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 Woo. That was big. That was big. <laughs> all right. That was good stuff there from Danny Baggish. And I think he just told, told everybody, hey, folks, there's a new sheriff in town here. Watch out. I don't know. Jules trying to do the same. That's going to be an interesting matchup here. Does Jules and Steve, that's going to be a good one to play out to see who's going to face Danny for that king seat match and guarantees himself a second place finish at least. Yeah. I mean, Danny looking good. He's going to finish top three no matter what this season. So he's guaranteeing himself already uh, four digits in the figures, uh, which is always nice. But um, I, there's a lot of lot of gameplay left to go on Wednesday. It's going to be a great battle. How about that? Division two, Corey Beck taking on Mike Scarborough. So Scarborough, the only player to play in both divisions this season. Um, but coming in as one of the favorites that we had there, and Corey Beck was not someone that we overlooked as well. So that's going to be a, a heck of a battle on Wednesday. I'm looking for Division 1B to be a pretty high-quality affair. Yeah, it should be. It should be. Here's what I've got for you, Sean. I just kind of did some numbers. A 5.82 or close to it for Danny Baggish and then a 5.13 for J.C. Martinez. So, yeah, just goes to show you Danny putting in a performance well above, uh, well, not well above his current average. That was a 5.68 until now. So it'll raise up a little bit for Danny. But, uh, yeah, it was the uh, helpful hand of some nine marks there for him that really did, did the number, I think. Yeah, I could not have been more wrong in the pregame show, and I'm just so excited for that. Like I said, it was going to be seven marks, not nines. It was definitely nines, and I said it was going to be maybe JC winning nine seven. Uh, man, that does that come off as uh, silly now? But Danny Baggish, it's going to be hard to pick against him next round. But I'll probably do it again just because I'm letting for punishment. Well, I'm t- I told you a little bit earlier in the match. I said, Danny's got that slight intimidation factor. All your top players really do, your Jules, your Leonard. You yep. got that slight intimidation factor when you play them, and you just know you're going to have to bring your A game in order to best them. And when they put on their A game, it's really, really hard for you to do much when you're just bringing maybe a B, B-plus performance. So overall, great stuff from Danny, good stuff from JC. He's just going to go to that loser side, although it's going to be tough for him to kind of bounce back because there's some interesting names there he could do it we're gonna have to find out though yeah absolutely guys i also want to give a huge shout out to all of the support tonight for both players uh we had over 1700 people at one point watching along with us and we weren't even an hour long show tonight so uh appreciate all the support that's in- incredible um it goes a long way it's awesome definitely does well we appreciate you folks join us on wednesday night 8 p.m central time as we have another fantastic matchup remotely for you all to enjoy brought to you by partners promoting darts and don't forget a last minute uh join uh hit the like button comment get entered into our giveaway as well as a big yep. thank you to a to z darts.com for uh, giving us our sponsorship this evening we appreciate you folks joining us once again William Stewart, Sean Green, Nick DeShera. We'll see you Wednesday night for more action from the CSC Challenger Series. Bye, everybody.